everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hot air balloon in a sunset landscape. Hi, so let's get started. So we have a couple of colored square papers and uh, actually we are going to make the hot air balloon using this. So first we draw a half for a heart shape and then we are going to cut it out using our scissors. So next we'll just cut it with the scissors. So after cutting it out and opening it, this is how it looks. So the next step is to glue them one on top of the other. So we'll put glue on the centers and then we have to glue them so that it opens up just on the center we'll put some glue and glue it and just save the last one okay so let's put some glue yeah I think that's enough glue and then then just press it right in the middle so that it glues on and then we go on to the next color so we have um, glued all three so for the last one we have folded it the other way and we'll put it in the center and glue it and then we will stick on to this part so that we have one color on each side like alternate colors so let's do that Let's put the glue in. First, let's glue the center. Let's put, put some glue on the center. And then glue it. Yeah. And then we're just going to put some glue on each side and stick it. We don't need a lot of glue. Just a little will be fine. That's fine. That's fine. One side is fine. And then just fold it and glue it. Yeah, and then just let it dry. So for now, we are just going to leave it and let it dry. And let's get started with the um, background. So we are going to do a sunset. So first, we'll start with the darkest blue and then we'll go to the next shade yeah so let's get started with this blue so make sure that you put a lot of pressure and do it dark because we wanted to show it like a night sky so then we are going to use the next blue just for a little bit So in the next we will after this we'll use two um, two kinds of pink two kinds of pink so we'll do the dark pink and the light pink to just do a streak of paint After that, we are again going to use some lighter shades of blue.
so after the blue we are going to use some orange and yellow and blend it together First you start with the darker shade which is the orange and after that we blend a little bit of yellow to it. So next we'll blend in some orange yellow and the light yellow with it. So when you're blending make sure that you try to fill up the white spaces so that it actually shows and So next just use a tissue to try to blend it in. So start with the blue and so you have to just press it lightly so and try to blend in the color. So when you are blending if you press too hard it will just remove the colors. We don't want that instead just make sure that you are blending it lightly so that the white spaces get filled up and and it looks better so after you have blended it in we are going to make some buildings uh, in the sky uh, like skyline so start from here on the orange part yeah and then yeah So then you can just color it in with black and So after the buildings, you can also make some uh, trees uh, using the dark green here and there. So after we are done with the trees and everything, we'll be using some acrylic colors to do some work before finally pasting on the hot air balloon onto the painting. Yes, so after this, we'll use gold paint to make some windows on the buildings. So I'm just going to use a bud and uh, just get some paint on it. And then make some windows like lights are on the buildings. After we are done with that, we will get some white acrylic paint and make some stars on the sky. So this is how it looks right now. And uh, next we are going to use the white acrylic paint and a brush. So the brush is wet and we are going to get some uh, paint on it. And then after this, we are just going to tap on it and then the white color will be all over the sky. So let's do it now. So. so now this is how the acrylics look. So next step is to uh, paste the hot air balloon on the sky. So. 
by this time it would have dried so we can just put it on the sky wherever you want to place it so yeah so we decided to put it here and then make sure that you open it up so that we can see all the colors so that it looks beautiful and then on this side too so yeah i think we put a little bit too much glue otherwise it would have been yeah so it looks good right now so next we are going to use the leftover paper that we cut out and we are just going to get a rectangle cut out of it so uh, this is the rectangular left out piece we are going to make a wasp basket woven design with a color pencil on there So after you have made the basket weave design, we can just st stick it on here. Yeah, and then just stick it here. Yeah, and then you can make the lines that connect with a dark black pencil this is how it looks after finishing it i hope you like like this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share bye